you guys so a few minutes after ay came out to talk about his marriage that seemed to be slipping off his hands his wife mabel has put out a response or what seems to be a response because she now put up a post on her instagram account and this is what the post said distance is my new response to disrespect i do not react i do not argue i don't dive into the drama i simply remove myself and the caption said 100 percent so you can tell or most probably she was referring to the you know message or the post her husband put out just a couple of hours ago you see what i said in the last video that this is my issue with celebrity marriages that are having issues and that come out on social media a lot of times when they just when one person just comes out and the other person responds before you know it becomes a back and forth of response and before you know the thing ay was talking about trying to protect his daughter's mental health he end up not protecting it because you are the one now washing your dirty linens in public and blogs are carrying it you know when blogs begin to carry it it's spreading faster but you're the one who brought it out first so you see why it's like don't even come out with it first if you don't want it to spread if you don't want it to fly don't come out with it first in the first place me i'm still out here thinking that maybe the marriage has a little bit of hope because you can still see ay's pictures on maybe also um, page and most times when you see um when women who are very emotional who can just out of the spur of the moment delete pictures of their page women when a woman leaves pictures is like okay maybe she has hope that the, the relationship can get better and all that so i can see maybe ay's wall, pictures which, on i would think that okay, maybe that means that they can you know make it make it back together but it's not looking like it because the comment section is another drama all together because there are people on the comments in the comments saying maybe i'll go back to your marriage you go back to your home nothing the outside you know um yeah somebody was saying maybe you're proud go back to your husband i'm like what's that nothing the outside and if the accusations of her husband going out on their marriage is true then we should ask him to wait in the outside we make you the waka waka outside so whenever it's we're so quick to tell women nothing the outside you go back to your marriage and people don't use that same intensity to tell men that nothing the outside do keep your marriage stop going out on your wife so that she doesn't feel the need to leave the marriage that you two have built for so many years 20 years in this case relationship inclusive this comment said name we are all into it so marriage is not for the weak because just for the sake of your children um you know go back and all that and people are like kubeg who are begging for you too and i'm like auntie you're not all into it you don't know what she went through in 20 years you don't know what he or they have been going through in 20 years you don't know their story so you cannot advise her to go back mm -hmm. this other comment said um my only advice to my people is if there's domestic violence leave but any, anything other than that can be fixed and i'm like auntie calm down or uncle whoever you are calm down people have different deal breakers and you cannot tell somebody the reason why they should leave their marriage one person can be able to endure all the cheating in this world another person might be able to endure all the physical um you know anything in this world it doesn't like people have different deal breakers so whatever somebody's deal breaker is let them have their own experience if they want to leave because of what you think is insignificant to you that's it's not your call it's not your call to tell them that um if it's not um domestic um, you know v you can actually stay or you must stay nothing is worth living don't do that that's insensitive this other comment said um if you leave your marriage now two things will happen either you become a side chick to another man or a sugar mommy to small small boys madam better stay and sort it out you'll be young and sexy forever wow and that person said make not stop this in a drama and not two are the respect for this internet you know <laughs> you see it's very funny like oh you are going to become a who says that she can't leave this marriage you know and get into another healthy relationship and actually remarry or something or actually decide that you know she wants to stay unmarried who says she can't do that like i know listen i'm not i don't joke with marriage if you watch if you're on this channel you know that i love marriages i love love but it should not be the end of you it should not be the end of you and people always feel like it's only physical when somebody goes physical with you that's the only way that something can end you you've not seen people who have become bitter because of the kind of terrible marriages they are in they become an emotional wreck as people are like oh but he's not hitting you oh but she's not hitting you but mentally they are gone they are finished people people don't um you know rate emotional um abuse and everything they just feel that if it's not physical oh stay there or stay there 20 years you're helping her count years do you think that this married that is having issues is paining you more than her let me read another comment and i think this should be the last comment because this comment for me was 
what resonated more with me it felt like i was the one who typed this comment because this was just the comment for me and thankfully it was typed by a man he said it's very unfortunate unfortunate the kind of comments i'm reading here go back and fix your marriage no marriage is easy now so marriage be you guys should fix it blah 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 i don't know what their story is and i really don't care my dear Many have lost their lives and minds and minds and minds because of toxic marriages. Sometimes the best thing you can do after you've done all there is to do is to walk away. No drama, no fights, just peaceful exits. No, not everything is fixable. No displease and no peace. Listen, I, if I knew this person, I could have just bought him a cold bottle of Coke, but you know, <laughs> well done. Thank you so much for that comment. And that's it. It's not coming from a place of, oh, don't fix your marriage. Nobody's saying they should not fix their marriage. We're just saying that sometimes, after you've done all that you think you can do, just stay peacefully was what I said in the first comment. This daughter, these children people are trying to protect, the best way you can protect them is not bringing this thing on social media. I saw another comment that somebody said, really, a lot of us don't really, really care don't care that much it might be sad that oh we like this couple we we're invested in their marriage and now they say it's not working again hey, yeah sorry and we move on to our personal lives which we all have things going on or happening with your things we're trying to fix and things we're trying to deal with we move on to our personal lives so many people don't really care as much as they think they care they're just looking for gist people are just looking for gist bloggers I just looking for gist i inclusive i'm not even ex- saying if the if gist comes out i'll come and post it here you understand everybody's just looking for oh ay is at fault maybelle is at fault you understand so the best thing is if you really want to protect your children ask maybelle don't answer now ay no answer again now beg i did beg you <laughs> i wish you can read what is my videos don't answer don't respond to her anything you want to do fix it in your house fix it so that even if you get back together i'm not saying if you eventually get back together there's very very less mess created on the social media space then we can we can move faster people are just looking for gist i'm saying this plenty plenty times it's really just about gist for a lot of people i see them in blogs and you're just seeing people trying to leave comments it's about the gist no one really really cares so much about all the things that have happened in your mind in fact right now there are plenty plenty insinuations people are mentioning names of people that they claim are the reason why the marriage is scattering they claim that this person has been with this person that is why the thing is not working you see what i'm saying the ones that are true the ones that are not true plenty plenty speculations now will come online that should not be just try and fix this thing in your house i've been shouting this thing because the next time you say another thing i will still bring it here and post so i'm advising you now don't say anything don't say anything go back home and the way you've been trying to fix it for almost 20 years do it if it doesn't work move on and i wish you guys all the best like i said in my last video but for the sake of the children you say you're trying to protect please don't respond to each other again at least not on social media at least not on social media. Let me know your thoughts are guys in the comment section. Is it real true? Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.